Hello. This video is an introduction to Lancer's application framework. Its formal name is the Visual Lancer Framework, but it's usually referred to just as the VLF. This is part one of a three-part video series. The VLF exists to answer this question for new Lancer developers. How might I design, implement and deploy a commercial or back office, Windows desktop or web browser based application? These days, interest in developing new Windows desktop applications is diminished. So from now on, I'm only going to mention this possibility in passing. The focus of the remainder of this video will be on web browser based applications. To give you a feel for the types of Windows desktop and web browser applications that you would be able to create, I'm going to look at two quick examples. This is a VLF Windows desktop application. The VLF developer's design model was generated as C++ and then compiled into Windows desktop executable programs. It uses Microsoft's classic Windows APIs to create the forms you are seeing. You get the idea. So that's probably enough about Windows desktop applications for the moment. This is a VLF web browser based application. What you are seeing now is the Chrome web browser running on a Windows 10 computer. It is executing a VLF application whose design model has been generated out into HTML5 and JavaScript. This example demonstrates the VLF's ability to deliver very modern and highly functional web browser based applications. The main benefit of deploying your application with a web browser interface is the ability to be used on many different device types with zero deployment requirements. At the moment I'm using the web browser on a large PC screen. VLF applications automatically optimize themselves to use all of that space. For example, it allows me to search for and then edit the details of three employees concurrently. Now let's run this VLF application on the polar opposite of a large screen PC, on an iPhone. This is exactly the same VLF application as you saw running on a PC. It automatically rearranges itself in the way that it navigates to work in the much smaller screen area. This automatic rearrangement capability is sometimes referred to by the somewhat overhyped term responsive design. Hopefully you can see that VLF applications seamlessly work on the increasingly larger resolution PC screens grouping into your offices and also downwards onto the ubiquitous and mobile iPad and iPhone sized devices. Now that you have seen what types of applications the VLF can create for you, I'm going to review the steps required to create one. There are three distinct steps. First, you prototype your proposed application. A VLF prototype application is executable. This means your application design intentions can be demonstrated to your end users so that they can understand and comment on what you intend to deliver. Additionally, an executable prototype can be used to inform your peer developers about what you need them to build. The second step is to choose your target deployment platforms. In VLF terms, the Windows target platform is called VLF Win and the web browser target platform is called VLF One. The web browser's zero deployment and multi-device advantages mean that the focus of the remainder of this video will be on creating web browser based applications. So if you see or hear VLF1 in this presentation, that's what's being referred to. In the third step, you generate Visual Lancer programs and compile them into executable code that is the most appropriate for your chosen platform. I mentioned earlier that a VLF application prototype is executable and that you have probably shown it to your end users and to other developers. Now is the time you start to work your way through that prototype, gradually replacing each prototype part with a real part. Just like this jigsaw, you gradually snap out each prototype piece and snap back in a real piece. By the way, the process of snapping out prototype and then snapping in real parts naturally creates a highly organized way to divide up development tasks amongst a team. At every moment of this step, your application is always executable and demonstrable. This makes it easy to run continuous software delivery and review cycles with your end users. There is no waiting for traditional Big Bang software deliveries when the VLF is used. So in summary, the VLF development process consists of three steps. Prototype your design, choose your target platforms, then snap your real application parts into the prototype design. The following part two video will demonstrate those steps in considerable detail.